Is she gonna go for it? <gasps> okay, and we are in relationship number two, which is already fading before it's even begun. Hey, my little peaches, welcome back to another video. Welcome to some more of our Not So Berry Gen 4. Ash, who's that alien hybrid? Welcome to some more of uh, her story. So in the last episode, we broke up with what was a beautiful but wreckish boyfriend because Ash, as part of this ch Oh, Jesus, okay. Oh, Okay, oh, oh, no, oh, Ash, babes. Not only are you very, oh my gosh, literally about to pass out from exhaustion, so maybe get off the treadmill. You're also bro sad because we broke up with Ashley. Honestly, you were both called Ashley, so I feel like it was destined to fail. But also, he was a kleptomaniac who was evil, which, you know, just does not bode particularly well. We're feeling sad because Ash really wants, like, a proper, I'm gonna send her home because she's tired. I'm sorry, new girl, goodbye. Ash really wants a good, solid relationship because she really wants babies and a family and a routine of her own one day. She didn't really get that growing up, although she did have a happy childhood. She just never had that close family bonds and like family moving out and all that kind of thing. So that is what she wants. It's actually all part of the Grey Gen challenge. But what we need to get there is three failed relationships. The fourth one has to be a neat sim, which we will marry. We've ended relationship number one with uh, Ashley. We are in the early stages potentially of relationship number two with Pamela Horner here, who Ash met at school last episode and has a crush on. They met at school and Ash had a very instant crush. We texted the last episode being like, I'm super blue. Ashley and I have broken up and Pamela was like, oh my gosh, come around to my house. So we met Pamela. We CC'd Pamela up. Pamela has dyed hair and like a few piercings. She's got her septum done. So I'm kind of thinking that Ashley, since she's an alien, she'll start like absorbing some of the vibes of the people around her. Like, oh, this human has dyed hair and a piercing. I should totally get some too. But then I was like, you know what? Humans do that as well. So maybe it's fine. Aliens can do that even more so. So we're gonna maybe see a bit of a change in style in Ash's appearance in this episode. We'll also keep exploring these feelings that we have for Pamela. Also, in probably the biggest Sag of all, Ash will soon have her first period. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel very sorry for you, Ash. You've got all this ahead of you. It's definitely going to be a turbulent time, especially as we... Oh, she did have the rebellious trait. That's gone for now, though. She's not in a teen phase anymore, but I still feel like we've got a lot going on this episode. So if you guys are excited, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you would like to see or if you've spotted any other sims, that could be future relationships go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying the series, make sure you subscribe. Your notification bell may have switched off. It just does this on YouTube. So make sure it's switched on so that you always know when an episode goes live. So Ash is doing some little sleep sobs in her alien outfit, which she of course wears to help her body because it's designed half for Sixum, half for Earth, but really for neither if you're only half and half. So this alien suit just helps her body get everything it should get from Sixum. It was actually designed by super, super intelligent Saffron, who is her mom, who's just cleaning up some pizza right now. But despite the fact that, you know, Saffron is so brainy and she does all this incredible stuff for her daughter, like making her an alien Sue. And are you coming to see me? Um, I, I kind of can't. Cause you're not meant to be on earth. This is Ash's dad, alien boy, Vian. It was meant to be a once time encounter. We went through a wormhole, we closed a wormhole. It's a whole thing. Go back and watch it if you haven't already. But yeah, she's been incredible as a mom in some ways, but she just never had this close, cuddly, cute vibes that I think Saffron sees other people people's mom's doing and dad's doing and she just kind of like really wishes that she had that as well. So instead she is going to be making sure that her children have it. That is kind of a big part of her challenge. The Ash, the grey gen challenge is having a really, really close relationship with family. So I'm looking forward to that because honestly none of our sims have really had that so far in this challenge. So I think that's going to be real fun. I also need to still complete her bodybuilder aspiration and also get her singing. Oh, she wants to call somebody on the phone because she's sad. Maybe I should call Pamela. I also need to get her singing up to level 10 as well. So I think today, maybe since it's the weekend, we should try and work on some of these like challenge goals. I might get her, can we try and like write a sad song? I don't think I can write music, but I will get her to keep practicing her singing. And then she wants to go for a jog. I need to get her to push the limits while exercise, uh, while energized. So I'll get her energized and then we'll send her for a jog. And although she's still working on her lifestyles, she still doesn't actually have any set ones. The game hasn't assigned her any yet. So uh, we shall keep an eye on that. Okay, so currently we're level three at singing. This is how it sounds. Oh no, you are a tiger. 
I mean, that's like when I sing. I'm level three singing. Yay. <laughs> that is how it sounds when I sing. I'm looking forward to hearing her voice improve over time. Oh, I'm 100% level three. I am solid level three singing. What are you guys based on the Sims levels? Let me know in the comments below. I would like her to get to level four and then I'll let her break off. Boom, level four. Good job. Go get some breakfast and then you can actually sing in the shower to help boost the skill a little bit as well. So I'll get her to do that for her shower. Um, We are still definitely feeling blue about this broken heart. She wants to call the sadness hotline. Maybe we could try and reach out to another sim instead. What do you say? Send in a sad text. Perfect. I think we'll go ahead and drop Pamela a text again, see if she wants to meet up this evening or anything. I know I'm jumping in between relationships, but like this is teen romance. It's still love and it's still heartbreak, but it's not so much adult divorce and then jumping into a new relationship. It's teen fleeting romances, which I think are a really important part of teenhood. So, oh, and just as I've texted Pamela, Lindsay's gone ahead and rocked up. Hi, Lindsay. Oh, <gasps> Ashley, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. Okay, I guess I should bring Lindsay because it's, she's just kind of knocked on the door. It's not fair if I just then drop her. Plus, she's like our best friend. We've not seen her so much recently. And I'm going to bring her boyfriend, Trace, as well. Oh, I'm a confident. I seen that coming. The Sim can always count on their intuition. <gasps> I love that. I like that it's her like alien intuition and she's got a good feeling about Pamela. Okay, since Pamela lives in the city, I kind of figure maybe we should hang out in the city together. A lot of you guys like like the idea of maybe moving to San Myshuno one day as uh, Ash. So this could be a nice little tester. See if we like the city life. Oh, we've got work in an hour. <gasps> I forgot we've got our babysitting jobs. I'm gonna take a vacay day from my babysitter job because I wanna hang out more with Pamela. <laughs> okay, we're feeling lifted from using the bubble blower. It's definitely making us forget about our broken heart for a moment. I feel like we should use it as a um, good excuse to try a bold pickup line because we know that we've got a little crush on her. Okay, she was she was pretty uh, appreciative of that. That seemed to go down quite well. <gasps> and Pamela's also feeling passionate. So that worked very, very well. Okay, when I try to ask her about her attractive preferences, I get the notification that Pamela Pamela is not compatible with Ash, but it is allowing them to have romance together. So I don't really understand what all that's about. I know that when I checked in with Ash's gender preference before, she was set to 100% male and zero. Oh, <gasps> she's changed to 20% female. Okay, she was 100% male and 0% female. Now she's 100% male and 20% female. So she's actually really similar to Saffron. Saffron was 100% male, 10% female, at least when she was younger. With Saffron, I had intended that after, obviously, Alien Boy went back, as she got much older, Alyssa, who had been, like, crushing on her her whole life, maybe these guys would end up, like, being in a relationship together. But then not only did Alyssa get married, she also beat us up on our doorstep, which kind of ruled out the whole relationship. And and then I kind of like keeping Saffron as just not attracted to humans. Just humans don't do it for her. However, show me some blue skin and she is all about that life. So she's not attracted to humans at all, which is good because now we, uh, now with Ash, we can kind of explore this more like she's into, she's into all genders and it is raining. So I kind of feel like maybe we should head to like a little restaurant and get some food or something. So it brought us to a little restaurant, the uh, old salt house here, still in my son, my shoe now. And since we're pretty loaded, our mother is an astronaut. I I'm like, okay, I'll get I'll get this meal. Don't worry. And also she's got all dressed up. So she's like, guys, I'll be able to try and see if we can get some wine. Maybe, you know, the aliens can like uh, do the whole mind control thing. She can't do that, but she's pretty good at influencing people. So let's get some Simsmopolitans. I still can't ask her romantic preferences though. I don't know what her gender preference is. Oh, it's 0% female and 100% male. Okay, I'm gonna see if just me flirting with her changes that. I know this relationship has to fail. This is the problem. I'll get like attached to all of these Sims and then I know I have to break them up. But don't worry, I'm sure there's even better Sims down the line. But I can already see maybe why this relationship might break up. Pamela's kind of like trying things out, but then maybe kind of realizes that, you know, this isn't for her, which will break little Ash's heart, but also Ash's gender preferences are changing now and it went from 0 to 20%. So maybe this first relationship with a woman will make her realize that although it didn't work out, it's a relationship style that she prefers or that she wants again in the future. I think that could be a nice takeaway from this because I think it's nice to like take a little something from each relationship. So with Ashley, we realized that, you know, having a bunch of stuff in common, like we like going to the gym isn't enough to make the relationship work. And with Pamela, just in a 
attraction isn't enough to make a relationship work. We're learning little things, little things all the time. And here are your Sims Sims-apolitans. So this is gonna go great, isn't it? Ooh, and we've said something awkward. We are having an awkward encounter right now. Maybe Pamela blows a little bit hot and cold with her. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's literally said to us, you're really beautiful, Ash, and I enjoy being with you, but I don't feel a deep connection right now. Oh man. I feel like for everyone else, the writing is literally on the wall. Like she enjoys flirting with you. Like she thinks you're really pretty, but she doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. But Ash, little adorable, sweet baby, half alien Ash, doesn't pick up on these signals as easily as an alien would, a, a human would. Her brain is of course half alien DNA. They're just not as good at picking up uh, human cues and signals. So she's gonna keep trying despite the fact that Pamela's made it very clear. She loves the idea of flirting with you, but she's not interested in being in a relationship with a woman. Ooh, we've also learned that Pamela is an everyman personality type. She wants to belong and feel like part of something. They lack any distinctive identity and rarely stand out. So I guess that's why she's just going along with it rather than like, she likes the attention and the like feeling of being flirted with. She likes to feel like somebody thinks she's attractive, but she doesn't want to take it any further. Honestly, this is just making me realize how much of a minefield relationships are in general. And that's as a human, you know, even harder for little Ash. So in the group, she like, it's really hard to have a successful like romantic interaction. They had one then, but like half the time she just blows her off. Like, I don't know if she just doesn't like the idea of flirting in front of other people. So I've got them like one-on-one -on -one outside the restaurant. Lindsay and Trace have gone. Just to see if like uh, when she's on her own, it's easier to try and get a little bit more romance out of her. Like I said, this is Ashley not picking up. Uh, Ash, not called Ashley. Ash. Ashley's the ex. This is Ash not picking up on social cues very much, but she really wants to have a first kiss with her. So I kind of want to see if it's going to work. And I'm very aware that I need to get through another relationship, another failed relationship after this and still find a neat sim. So I am moving things forward a little bit faster because I also really want her to start her family like fairly soonish. Is she gonna go for it? <gasps> okay, the first kiss worked. So when she's on her own, she's like, you know, we can kiss, we can kiss. That's absolutely fine. Okay, also don't die from the cold. She do be looking very cold right now. I'm gonna make Ashley be like, well, we kiss then that means we're dating, right? That means that we're dating. And she's like, yeah, oh my gosh, what are you doing with your arms? Oh, and a picture. It is 4 a.m. and she's gonna freeze to death. So I am gonna send her home. But yeah, she's like super hyped because she's like, yay, we're totally dating now. But I kind of feel like Ash is much more into Pamela than Pamela is into Ash. But hey, at least we got a day hanging out in the city. Can you see her living in the city? Do you feel like this is a good vibe for future Ash? Go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And look at Safra just like, oh, you're home at 5 a.m. in the morning. How interesting. Like, no, no comment, not upset, no, nothing. Just like, okay, that is a time. What does time really mean anyway? And it is the first day of winter. So we are now officially in winter. And also our birthday is on Friday. So this is our final week as a teenager. And we are in relationship number two, which is already fading before it's even begun. But I think it's gonna be an important relationship for us. Lindsay is texting us. Oh, I was about to say it's like 6 a.m. But it's not, it's 10 to 11 in the morning. Did you see that viral meme? No, I've just been sleeping this whole time. What is the meme? And okay, it has happened. She's still feeling heartbroken, by the way. It's happened. We have begun. Oh, we've begun the periods. I'm so sorry, babes. I'm so sorry. It seems that even aliens cannot escape this fate. I think you're gonna have to wake up and get showered. And you're still thinking about that first kiss. And Saffron is gonna leave her a little box of things that you're probably gonna need as a human girl. Let's go ahead and pop this in your inventory. And then I feel like she is kind of picking up on vibes with Palmer. Like, hmm, she said, what, what was the exact word she used? I don't feel a deep connection with you. That's what she said. So I am gonna suggest that Ash looks in the mirror and she's like, okay, maybe she'll feel more connected to me if I look more like her. <laughs> if I coffee what she's wearing a little bit. So I've been looking forward to doing this to Ash for a while. I am gonna go ahead and add a few piercings to those cool ears and just switch up this appearance a little bit to something a little bit more alternative vibes. Can I dye her front hair strand actually? Oh, I can't. That would have been such a vibe. <gasps> Wait, but I can dye her ends of her hair. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, it doesn't work perfectly with this hairstyle, but it does work with her piggy's hairstyle, which I think looks really cute on her. So do I go soft or do I go kind of strong? I feel like she's gonna start copying a little bit, which honestly I feel like would probably drive 
Pamela further away because she'd be like, why are you copying my appearance? But like, Ash doesn't get this. She thinks she's doing a sweet thing. Although also, I would totally love to have matching pink hair with a girlfriend. I think that would be really cute. But we already know that um, Pamela's feeling a little bit... I want it to pierce this top bit. She's feeling a little bit like dis wanting to distance herself a little bit from um, Ash anyway. Or she's at least like down to flirt in private, but not in a group. Okay, so I'm gonna add some little piercings to her ears because I think that looks really cute. And then we're also gonna copy that purple eye makeup that she has as well. Okay, so this is the appearance update I've gone for for Ash. I know everyone's not gonna love it. Like, it's fine. It's not her necessarily her forever appearance. It's just a change that she's made at the moment. She's wanting to appeal more to Pamela and absorb a little bit of Pamela's sense of style. It's going into winter, so I've given her the winter outfit. This is kind of grayish. It's hard to stick with full gray. So I've tried to go for like dark gray, because I guess gray is still gray, right? And we've got a little bit of an appearance update. Let me know what you guys think. Look, this is Ash without her makeup on. Look how like, she's still very baby. She's still very young a baby. But then this is her now. Like that just shows the power, the power of makeup. It's intense. And she's got those rings. You guys were asking about those so there they are and i love her long pink pigtails i think they're so freaking cute again reminder the long hair is literally her copying Lindsay, and now the makeup and piercings is her copying pamela and oh my gosh all my radios have broken i feel like we've probably seen our last sunny sit outside and eat day in a while because we are heading into winter however she really wants to go for a jog and she needs to work out well energized so if you're an active sim you can drink energy juice to try and push you into your an energized mood. And if I can get her to push the limits for an hour whilst energized, then that is gonna help us out with our lifetime aspiration for bodybuilder. So I've got her to drink her energy. In fact, I've sent her for a jog, but I'm gonna see if I can jog to clear mind just to try and get rid of this passion that she's woken up with. I don't know how effective that is. I don't know if it can help. She still looks baby when she jogs as well. She doesn't have all her makeup for jogging it. Oh gosh, that's the ex. Okay, he's, oh wow. Walking past the house, looking all down and sad. I mean, maybe you shouldn't have started fights with us over absolutely nothing, but there he is walking down being all mopey. Meanwhile, we're out here living our best life. We've got our piercings, we've got our makeup on fleek, and we've got ourselves a new girlfriend. I'm sorry, Ash, but this Ash is doing a lot better. However, she is definitely feeling flirty because all of that, and I still can't get rid of her flirty mood. Oh, energized, yes. Okay, you need to push the limits now, babe. Oh, but we do have our babysitting job and we didn't go yesterday. So I kind of feel like we gotta go today. So she's heading off to her babysitting job. <gasps> oh no. Oh, she's pulled a muscle. Oh, everything hurts. Maybe that was pushing it a little bit too much and she's feeling fatigued. But I, you weren't even pushing the limits, what? I'm gonna see if she can meet any other babysitters at her job as well. And Suffering, what are you up to? You are feeling stressed because you're missing work. Oh my gosh, what are you like? Okay, why don't you go to work in your off hours? Never change. Saffron, you little workaholic, you. <gasps> Pluto is running away! No! Oh no, why is Pluto running away? What? Oh, I was literally thinking I wish I could go for a jog with Pluto. But obviously Pluto is a cut technically, so you can't. I need to post an alert. Oh, you're purchasing climbing gear. Autonomously spending 450 simoleons on climbing gear? I guess you've heard all about your Aunt Scarlet set. Not Aunt. Grandma the Scarlet's who you never actually met. Sad. That is actually sad. But she climbed a mountain. Maybe you want to do the same. I don't know. But she's just gone ahead by herself and done this. Interesting. Maybe we should climb the mountain in the future. But I need you to post an alert on the PC. Post an alert about missing Pluto. I've lost my pet raccoon. The internet's gonna be like, what? What? My pet raccoon has run away, which is very sad. Here is how he looks. I would like it back ASAP, please. Oh, look at her little sad face. Oh, and even Saffron. Uh, yes, yeah, Saffron. The name confusion, I swear I'm terrible for it. But Saffron's feeling super sad about the... She's like, we may have brought that raccoon into our house. It's just a science experiment for how easy it is to domesticate a wild animal. But I really miss that little fluffy butt. Okay, so I wanted to play some basketball before I headed in to school today. But we're still suffering from 
the pulled muscle. So that is kind of putting all of our workout aspirations on hold for now, which is very annoying. I feel like we need a massage, Pamela. Let's see if she wants to come around after school today. And Saffron and her updated appearance are heading their little butts into school. We've done our homework again, but like I said, she's not interested in doing like, spend less time doing homework and school projects and blah, blah, blah. She's happy as a grade B. Grade B is good, okay? She's happy vibing at grade B. She doesn't want to push herself. <gasps> and we got a text from Pamela. Just wanted to hear from you, Ash. Are you happy to hear from us? Yes, of course we are. How thoughtful. She just got a reminder that someone's thinking of them. You'll do it over text, but you won't be sweet and romantic over dinner with my friends. I don't get it. And oh my gosh, Lindsay's missing hanging out with her. We should hang out more. I have a lot to talk about these days. Are you cool with that? We've not been to Solani in like the whole of this episode. I usually go to Solani every episode. I guess we saw a bit of Lindsay at the meal, but we did spend the whole time crushing on Pamela. So we're not making as much time for our best friend. And I think she's feeling a little bit hurt. <gasps> and Pluto has returned. Yes, Pluto, don't you ever do that again, okay? And oh my gosh, another mood swing. Stop looking at me. She's, sometimes it just feels like you can't do anything right and everyone is judging you. Oh no. <laughs> She's so cute and like her little walk is so adorable. I don't know, she's just cracking me up. Oh my gosh, stomping around with her new pigtails is just so cute. And oh, why don't we go? I'm gonna get her to go to the arcade with Lindsay because she's not seen her in a while. And she's also getting the pop-up about doing further education. Should I send Ash to uni? I wanted to start the Babla Roos with her fairly soon. Although she would make a great candidate for like the sports team and joining the soccer team. I think she'd really like that. You can't be at uni with Babla Roos, so we can't do that. And she's giving herself a pep talk in the mirror right now. Honestly, between the like first teen heartbreak, the total change of appearance, hair and makeup, and now the mood swing, she's had such like, oh, where you off now for, oh, you have to go play basketball now, but you're injured. Okay. She's had like such a hormonal episode and she even started her period as well. Like she's had the most hormone packed episode I think she could possibly have had. Oh my gosh, she threw the ball once and then she's like, no, I hate this. Even this can't make me happy. I used to enjoy what we have together. Yes, I am, but I'm hating it being a secret for Pamela. I'm hating this. Yeah, she's had a tough episode. I think it's been a tough time for Ash today. She's had some good things, but she's also had a bunch of really tough things. Uh, she can't decide what she wants to do with herself. She's having a little stompy around. Oh, she's off to go to the arcade now with uh, Lindsay. So at least she's spending some time with her best friend. And Ash has four days left until she ages up. I mean, it's Monday evening. So by the time she wakes up tomorrow, she will be aging up in three days, which means next episode, she's probably, probably gonna age her little butt up in two hours adult form. So let me know what you guys think of her new appearance, her new relationship, her new injury, her new hormones, her new everything. Our little cute alien girl is definitely growing up in a big way. Oh, seriously, stop doing that. Seriously, why does he keep doing that? He's literally trying to make you feel so sudge, but it's fine because the mood swings is doing that anyway. Those good old hormones are doing that for you on their own. Let me what you guys think of all of those things. I hope you guys are excited to see a young adult Ash in the next episode. If you are, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!